up everybody it is almost the end of the day I got a little bit more work that I got to do when I get home to all my replay viewers whenever you're watching this hope you're doing well hope your week was fantastic uh, hope you enjoyed uh, every single day and on the days that you didn't enjoy hopefully you've made your way to a day that you do enjoy um, for those of you if you're watching and this is your first broadcast ever with me um, Let's see here, just fix the Wi-Fi. This is your first broadcast ever watching with me. My name's Dave Shrine. I'm an online entrepreneur. I run an online business. I help other entrepreneurs. I teach them, um, show them how to get themselves unstuck and launch their businesses online. Email, web, social, things like that. All these really silly, nonsensical things slow us down. They slow me down too. You try to get a picture to look exactly right. You try to get the fonts perfect and sometimes you just can't do it and so I help. Hey Brandy, what's going on? Hey Brian, how you doing? Hopefully you're getting better on that jet lag. Alessandra, how are you? So I didn't know what I really wanted to title this broadcast. I was going to title it Why I Haven't Broadcasted in a While, and then I was thinking, looks like you're somewhere cool, um, a parking lot. <laughs> um, I was thinking like, well then nobody really cares why I haven't been broadcasting, um, so I didn't title it Why I Haven't Been Broadcasting, but that's what I'm going to talk about. And really, uh, the point of this is to give you guys a little bit of freedom and help you guys under, looks like sand behind you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, we care. Thanks, Rocky. So um, let me just make it. A, this is a real quick broadcast and help you understand what's going on in my brain. This, they, see, this tells you where I'm really at a parking lot. Um, so I haven't broadcasted all week, and the reason why is because um, I really haven't had anything to say. My brain has been so focused on getting work done for my clients, getting work done for my blog, things like that, that I really haven't had the time to focus in on actually getting clarity on thoughts and broadcasting. I really didn't feel like I had anything to say. I really didn't feel like I had anything to contribute. And I didn't want to broadcast just for the sake of broadcasting, but there's this burden that I feel. I feel like we've developed a community. I've got friends on here now. I've got people who I love connecting with, communicating with. I talk with you guys on Facebook now. I talk with you on uh, Twitter and through email. We've built up this huge network, and so there's this burden that I feel of like, well, I should just be broadcasting. I should be broadcasting. And when I get off work and go home, I should do a broadcast if I can't get it done during work. And when I'm at work, I should take a break so that I could broadcast. And there's just this burden that I feel over and over and over to broadcast. And I don't know if you guys feel that same burden, but I'm guessing that if I'm feeling it, other people feel it too. I feel like that too, Dave, at least once a day. I'm the same way, only like to broadcast when I have something good to say. I don't know why, so there's this other side of me and it's not necessarily a conceited or arrogant side, it's kind of the brand and marketing side and just best practices and truths. There's the other side of me that says, well, if I want to keep momentum, if I want to keep relevant, if I want to continue building authority, well, I need to continue broadcasting. I need to continue saying things because that's the only way that I'm going to draw more people into my brand. That's the only way I'm going to draw more people into what I'm doing. And on one hand, that's completely true. But on the other hand, I don't like coming, I don't like doing things from that perspective of, well, if I want people to keep following me, then I need to be broadcasting. No, like I want people to follow me and to connect with me because they're interested in what I have to say and they see a part of their story in my story. And they see something that they want to get better at in something that I do well. So, I don't know why, but but then there is the other side, there is the other side that if you do broadcast regularly and you continually put out good content, people are going to follow you and if you become dormant, people will unfollow you. So it's, hey Karen, how you doing? It's a good habit or it drops off the radar. It is a good habit or it drops off the radar. Yes, exactly. So. Anyways, the broadcast here, the point today, I follow because there's a connection. No need to work for my love. Love it. I totally feel you, but the people with huge numbers treat it with that strategy. Yes. See, Jenny, that's exactly what I was going after. There is the strategic part. There's also the real part. And so what I'm trying to navigate right now is the balance of the two. I don't want to force something and I don't want to be, not phony, that's not the word. I don't want to be doing something for the sake of, oh, I have to do this. 
But at the same time, I realized that I need, I need to maintain the platforms that I'm committed to. Consistency breeds familiarity with your audience. That's right, exactly, it needs to be sincere too. So here's the deal. The whole point of this is one, if you struggle with the things that I've just talked about, just know that you're not alone. No matter where you put me and put people like me in your level of, hey, this person knows what they're doing, um, just know that you're not alone and hopefully that gives you a little bit of liberty to feel, um, you know, freedom of, I don't have to broadcast every single day, every single minute. Uh, the other point is to just call out what it is, the balancing of strategy versus in the moment authenticity, um, and, and not even authenticity, just reality, strategy versus reality. Um, I think that's another thing that I wanted to point out, um, and, and that don't... I, now I'm getting lost. I'm getting lost on myself. Do you guys ever do that in a broadcast? Like you, like you're working through it, and sometimes you can fake it really well, and sometimes you can't. I'm, I feel like I'm not able to fake it right now. My whole point here is, don't feel like you're going to lose the world if you can't do what everybody else expects you to do. You're not going to lose the world. And I've come to a point in a, many of my platforms and and areas that. If I can't produce my best, I'm just not gonna do it and people will get it. Some people will fall off and not wanna follow me and that's totally cool. And the people who do stick around, they're, they're your true audience. Not to say that the others aren't, but they're your true audience. They're the people who want to hear from you when you have something to say. So don't, don't put pressure on yourself. Don't let that burden be huge, but be mindful of the truths and the, that's what I wanted to say. Be aware of best practices be aware of what your overall strategy is, but don't let the pressure crush you and your inability to always match up to best practices and strategy crush you. Just pick right back up and get going. So this week I've intentionally not broadcasted because I haven't had anything to say and quite honestly, here's what the last part of it comes down to. At nighttime, I've been trying not to work and just hang out with my family. Have you seen results in your business from Periscope? Alessandra, yes. Um, through Periscope, I've probably made close to $10,000 via affiliates and via clients um, coming in. Um, real funny, all my Periscope replay videos landed me a $2,000 job. Um, they went back and watched all my replays. Need in fold info. Ooh, yeah. Oh, did you? Ah, uh, Karen, I'll go back and look at our tweets. I know we were talking about that. Um, so about $2,000 for my replays, somebody going like, Hey, I want to check out, um, I watched all your replays, I want to bring you in, so they gave me a presentation deal. I got um, three, two website deals from that. I've made affiliate sales, um, so it's probably somewhere between $8,000 and $10,000 for the business. Um, but that's all as a result of broadcasting consistently and making my stuff available and having good content. Um, hello, Claire. So there's all we should do. We should do a uh, Alessandra. You you. This would be right up your alley. We should do some sort of a a little mini webinar day, a little mini seminar about all the different ways that you can make money using Periscope. I should be an affiliate for Chapstick. So there you go, guys. Don't put pressure on yourself. Don't feel like the world is going to collapse and cave in. Be intentional about all your decisions, um, and be okay if you miss a few days. So, Alessandra, let's uh, Facebook message back and forth. All right, I'm going to get going. I got to go home, uh, guys. I'm not going to ask you to share this one um, because I feel like this was just a something for me and something for us. Um, so hopefully it helped you, and like I said, if you're a replay wa viewer watching this, hopefully this gives you a little bit of freedom. I hope it does. Um, don't get down on yourself if you can't live up to the expectations that you believe you've placed on yourself or that you believe others have placed on you. Um, just rock it out. Looks like it is nice weather. Yes, it is beautiful weather here right now. It's actually a little chilly. My wife and I are getting ready to go to Flagstaff. We're going to leave for Flagstaff tonight, so it should be a lot of fun. All right, guys. I'll see you later.